cannot tell you how excited we are to have you here. That you actually exist. <laughs> to help these women. He's married and has his own family, but his entire being is devoted to helping these women get a second chance. For everyone to see, if we, if we passed out all these cell phones to 4 billion people, let's say, or there's 1.5 billion people online right now. The local organization can use as a springboard to further their cause and changing attitudes in the communities that we work with. And the reason I stand here today, the book I'm writing now is what will happen to these kids after we're gone. The parents leave, then what? So I'm a big fan of Henrik Ibsen, who's a playwright, Norwegian playwright in the 19th century. And he wrote, these people, the politicians, they want special revolutions, outward revolutions, political readjustments. <coughs> but all of this is inconsequential. The only revolution that counts is a revolution of the human spirit. So this room is certainly filled with people who are living in the radiant effect of one person's revolution of spirit. I know his name is Dan Eldon. And I think that for me is the inspiration of the concept of creative activism. It's taking the creative spark within us to do something for the world around us. And you are all extraordinary examples of this. This is probably the most interesting room in Los Angeles, <laughs> no doubt. The crux, really, of our work is telling a story about a cause that's passionate to you. How are you using your talents, your abilities, to tell, to tell a story about something that, that you really care about, that means something to you? And not just to, to put it out there into the world, but because we want to bring people around your cause to act, to take action. We are not here for fame or glory or money, clearly. We are here, all of us, because we have a calling. And it's so hard to do what we do. We have a goal in mind that we know is ours to achieve. Ultimately, the journey is the destination. And being here together is sufficient for today. As creative activists, we're all on a safari towards widening our empathetic embrace. In our effort to do this, I think it's significant to remember that Dan's journey began with a heart-to-heart, life-to-life connection with just a single human being. And I feel so blessed that we were introduced to you guys because we could not have a better fit. We were told there's this organization that can help you receive this money from American funders and then, and since we discovered Kathy, our life. <laughs> Just our lives are never the same. So Celia has Thank you for taking us away from our computers and our frantic need to be fundraising and networking and <laughs> to have a contemplative day of joy and the nourishment to to know why we do this because it's so easy to forget. It's incredibly moving to see each of you bring your presentations and one after another because for us here who are watching you. It's like one emotional high point after another. A revolution of the human spirit requires not only open-hearted dialogue, but a persistent and perseverant curiosity into what are the needs, what are the beliefs, what are the circumstances beyond the words spoken. And in this effort, all of you in this room are ambassadors of empathy.